So, it's another time to use the edge tool in Adobe Chop and how we can hide objects inside Photoshop. The process is very simple. I will select anything using the rest tool or the rectangle. So, maybe using the ellipse such as this, and I will move here and using the batch tool, select this item. We uh, can go and using the batch tool to move here. And that's it, we have hide this object. So I will select some items here. Before that, I will duplicate the, the basic layer and to see the difference between the old and the new. And select this item using the batch tool and convert to here. And here we are. Let's select now. And using the batch tool, you can move here. And again, this one will be reference from this one. Again, this one will be reference from here. Again, this one will be reference from here. This one from here. And let's select all of these elements. We can using the spot healing brush. I think it should work. If this not work, we can source. This is the source, and this is the source. This is the source. Source. Again, again, is then uh, so uh, we have removed all the labels that was the uh, original old and this is the new let's see what we have done here we have hide the cross and you can do that also and i will duplicate and i want now to remove some items here so i will using the batch tool and let's select all of this item and let's remove to be here Here we are, we can from edit edit fade selection and this is Westy and this Westy so uh, it it's now smooth and now it's hard so it was to maybe such as this and it should work and uh, that was the conclusion of using the batch tool you can use it on any image to hide objects or uh, to add objects so uh, using the item such as this and using the destination you can copy to be here or you can copy some items to be here as you can see or copy this item to be here uh, that was the conclusion for the batch tool i hope you enjoyed this lesson see you in the next tutorial